So to heat four of the lightweight men's double skulls. In lane one, it's the Netherlands, uh, Vincent and Tico Muda. In lane two, Pakistan, Sufyan Mohammed and Ahmad Mahmoud. In lane three, Ukraine, Stanislav Kovalov and Igor Kamara. In lane four, Vietnam, Pam Min Chin and Nguyen Van Lin. And in lane five, Poland, Artur Mikolajewski and Milos Jankowski. 지금 진행 중인 경기는 경량급 남자 더블 스컬 예선 4조 참가 선수를 소개합니다. 네덜 1 죄송합니다. 1레인 네덜란드, 2레인 파키스탄, 3레인 우크라이나, 4레인 베트남, 5레인 폴란드입니다. And Paul, I know you're on the roadside alongside the lake rather than on the water, but what do you make of conditions from where you are? The, the flags gently sort of flutter every now and again, and the wind seems to swing round uh, here from one side of the lake to the other, but it is, it is a gentle breeze. Yes, great uh, sculling conditions. I'd love to be out on the water myself, uh, suited to be protected against the sun. I think it's more the heat and the humidity rather than the water conditions that may be a challenge to uh, some crews, particularly those uh, less used to these kind of climatic conditions. But the water, absolutely perfect to row on at the moment. The happiest umpires are those with a roof over their heads. A number of the launches here have got what I've been wanting to have for years in uh, Lucerne and other places where we commentate from boats, a roof over one's head in this kind of weather, most welcome. On the water, the uh, action now uh, is starting to uh, split the field up a bit. It was very close for a long time amongst the leading four, but uh, suddenly uh, Vietnam have just uh, hit the wall and uh, disappeared almost backwards from the leading trio. The leading trio is still the Netherlands, the Ukraine and uh, Poland at 750 meters. The first of our pairs of twins at these uh, rowing world championships, the Muda twins of the Netherlands. They were sixth together in the lightweight four at the Olympics in London. Here they are in the double, which they've seen them in action this season in the World Cup. No medals for them yet, but in an interview in the uh, Dutch rowing magazine in the Federation's uh, official organ, Vincent Muda said a while ago, this Olympic cycle is all about gold. Now that's uh, quite a statement uh, this early on in the cycle and uh, here they are in pursuit of gold in Jungju. Uh, at a thousand meters it's uh, the Netherlands, Poland and the Ukraine. 경량급 남자 더블스컬 4조 경기 지금 1000m 중간 지점을 막 통과하고 있습니다. 어, 현재 원래 이제 한 팀이 준결승전에 진출하기 때문에 한 1위 싸움이 가장 치열하게 벌어질 겁니다. 1레인 네덜란드, 5레인 폴란드가 경쟁을 펼치고 있고 3위에 우크라이나 팀이 그 뒤를 따르고 있습니다. 4위 베트남, 5, 5위 파키스탄 형태입니다. 에, 지금 선수들 거의 1위를 달리고 있는 네덜란드 1레인 25살의 쌍둥이입니다. 1988년 8월 14일생 둘이 똑같이 태어나서 아마 누구보다도 쌍둥이기 때문에 호흡 맞추는 데는 이상이 없을 것 같고요. 에, 두 사람의 근력과 지구력만 기르면 세계 최강이 되지 않을까 싶습니다. 유럽 선수권 대회에서 6위를 한 팀입니다. 그리고 2위를 그 뒤를 바짝 쫓고 있는 올해의 폴란드 두 선수 23살의 동갑 선수입니다. 에, 그러면 월드컵 대회 3차 월드컵에서 1위를 차지한 선수들이 되겠습니다. 3위는 우크라이나 차지하고 있습니다. Well, Poland must know that they've got some uh, good boat pace. They picked up gold in the Eton round of the Rowing World Cup this season. The bowman keeps on looking round to uh, see where the Dutch are. Every few strokes, he looks over to his left to see where the Muda twins from the Netherlands have got to. They're several lanes apart, and at 1,500 metres, a sense this is where the Poles are going to put in a determined push to try and uh, close the gap on the Netherlands, and ideally, of course, squeeze past them and move through into that decisive semi-final slot. The Netherlands uh, bowman's doing exactly the same though, of course, uh, Vincent Muda, he's looking at the poles, trying to uh, eye up them for any possible attack, any strategic move, and at the moment it's still the Netherlands in a slender lead, Poland, the boat moving on well, but the Netherlands have responded to that attack and have now found uh, almost a, yes, they've now found a clear water advantage ahead of Poland, the Netherlands going extremely well in the lead in this heat of the men's lightweight double skulls. 
자 경기 한정 차로 조, 에, 점점 좁혀지고 있습니다. 마지막에 폴란드의 미클라잭스키, 장크프스키 두 선수가 힘을 내면서 네덜란드를 추격하고 있습니다. 일단 결, 준결승전에 바로 진출을 해야 다른 선수보다는 한두 경기를 적게 뜹니다. 그만큼 힘이 비축됩니다. 아까 한정 차에서 조금씩 줄여가고 있습니다. 과연 결과는 어떨지요? 포, 네덜란드와 폴란드의 싸움이 벌어집니다. 최선을 다하는 마지막 힘을 모두 쏟는 선수들입니다. Somehow the commentary always sounds so much more dramatic in Korean, but uh, dramatic action uh, at the head of the field for the uh, Netherlands. The uh, Mudas have uh, picked up their rate of striking again, a very strong finish by them. And uh, Poland now, the bowman's head looking down in the boat, the uh, starting to tire one senses, but they've kept up uh, their rating as well. Uh, Poland uh, still aggressive and dynamic coming into the finish uh, area, but uh, with a few strokes on the line, it looks as if the uh, semi-final slot is going to go to the Netherlands. They led from an early stage, have had an extremely good row together, gelling so perfectly as twins often do. The Netherlands picks that one up, and uh, Poland, uh, fine performance by them, but it wasn't quite fast enough. Bauman collapses as they come across the line, absolutely exhausted, and uh, we'll see them again in action in the repechage. Now the Ukraine coming to the line in third place with uh, quite a lot of clear water back to Vietnam, and then at the, the back of the field, Pakistan. Thanks, Paul. Very impressive race for the uh, Muda Twins of the Netherlands, winning in a time of 6 minutes, 27.78 seconds. So they alone will qualify directly for the AB semi-final. Poland coming home in second with Ukraine in third, and they, along with Vietnam and Pakistan, will have another chance by contesting the repercharge. 방금 끝난 경량급 남자 더블스컬 예선 4조의 순위를 알려드리겠습니다. 1위 네덜란드. 2위 폴란드, 3위 우크라이나, 4위 베트남, 5위 파키스탄입니다.